Sweetheart? Yes? There's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Honey, we've all gathered here today to tell you about something that you're doing that's affecting all of us. We thought that maybe you'd give it up after a little while, but it's gone on far too long now. So, Dad. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to talk to you about something. About what? I think you might have a problem. I just don't know how much more of this the kids and I can take. We are concerned for your reputation, and we're here to offer you our love and support. I'm afraid it's going to cost you your job. Crocs. A lot of people don't consider them to be the greatest threat to America's freedom. But those people are wrong. Ten years ago, these sleeper cells of bad fashion were unheard of. Now they're cheap and easy to obtain. Worse yet, the internet's made it possible to legally purchase these horror shows from anywhere in the world. And if you have Amazon Prime, well, then you can practically get them at the speed of shooting smack into your veins. And now, let's look at the anatomy of a pair of Crocs, shall we? Crocs may look harmless enough at first glance, but upon closer inspection, you'll easily see them for the weapons of mass destruction that they really are. Observe the tiny holes throughout their entire design. Now you may believe that these were meant to allow your skin to breathe through the hideous plastic they're made of. Not so. In fact, these are carefully designed portals willed into existence through voodoo and sorcery, which allow your dignity to escape, where it will no doubt be plucked from the aether and used as a conduit in black mass rituals to summon Beelzebub himself. Think things can't get worse? Think again. Just look at those tan lines. Be enough to make any honorable man commit seppuku. And if these devil's playthings are the barbarian nations of Europe, then your love life is post-Constantinian Rome, just waiting to be sacked. What better way for the terrorists to depopulate the country than to attack the sacred practice of our all-American courtship rituals. Nero will be playing his fiddle while your date with Sarah Jane from down the street is illuminated by the mood lighting cast by the smoldering ashes of your romantic prowess. You'll be left wondering why you can't even score a wholesome little goodnight kiss after you've sprung for lobster fest. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh... I'll see you around. Oh. Cool. Uh, um, thanks for dinner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you need help with that? <laughs> no problem. You need to come in? Or... Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just see you. I'll, I'll call you? You know, I'll just, I'll just see you around. Oh, oh, okay. Well, guess what? Your Crocs are to blame. Crocs admit an anti-pheromone that turns off women faster than the insinuation that they're starting to look like their mothers. I call it... Crock blocking. Wear Crocs. There's only one woman alive who would be willing to love you in spite of the sad, pathetic man beast you really are. Sweetheart! Roses? Oh, you know they're my favorite. Come here, give me a great big kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I've got two great big jugs of fruit juice with our name written all over them. So remember kids, the road to hell is paved not with good intentions, but with these suckers right here. Crocs. More than bad fashion, they're bad for America. <laughs>